What if I said you can deploy a voice AI web app to production for next to zero costs? I'll show you how using popular Next.js framework on Cloudflare workers, a completely serverless voice AI assistant that scales. I love services like Pipecat and LifeKit. I use them every day, but what I don't love are the voice agent server costs. They're expensive and that doesn't scale very nicely on our wallet. So looking at the LiveKit docs, deploying to production for voice agents, LiveKit recommends four cores and eight gigabytes per worker. This handles 10 to 25 concurrent jobs. So if we go to render pricing, one of the vendors they recommend, we look at the eight gigabyte and four cores, that's $175 per month. And that's for 10 to 25 recommended concurrent jobs. So that, yeah, it doesn't scale very nicely the more users you get. The solution that I'm going to demo today does not need these extra costly servers. Now, we all know what Next.js is, and we all most likely host on Vercel the creators of Next.js. But what is Cloudflare? They are widely known for their CDN, but are quietly becoming the big brains in serverless tech. Cloudflare has a product called Workers, and it's their serverless compute engine. We can host Next.js on them, but why choose Cloudflare over Vercel? Well, Cloudflare runs on V8 isolates. There's nearly no cold start issues, but the real reason is to remove the need for those pricey voice agent servers. We know they're costly, and Vercel's edge function WebSocket capability only goes up to 300 seconds, so not doable for AI voice assistants. Whereas Cloudflare, workers, and durable objects accept WebSockets, give a single stateful instance for fan-out coordination, and support hibernating WebSockets to keep connections resilient. Plus, AI workers are powered by serverless GPUs and run speech-to-text and text-to-speech at the edge for a fully serverless speech loop. And we still have a path to WebRTC here if we need it. To quote Backpine Labs on YouTube, Cloudflare is the happy middle ground between Vercel and AWS. Definitely check out this channel. They're awesome. And now to quote dev tips on Medium, Vercel pricing scales faster than my app. $20 a month turned into $80 with minimal traffic. I still wasn't using most features. Cloudflare is more powerful and more stable than I expected and cheap like absurdly cheap. So with Cloudflare, we cut out voice agent servers and have better and cheaper scaling. It's all of these reasons that piqued my interest in Cloudflare, starting with an ex post from my friend, Laurent Deneu. After speaking with him, he pretty much converted me to Cloudflare. Okay, enough Cloudflare glazing. Let's check out the live production demo and of what we're gonna build. All right, so here we are. And before I start this, I just want to let you know that these models that are, I'm using are very baseline, open source, fractions of a penny, cheap. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Okay, hello, are you there? Hello. Yes, I'm here and ready to help. How can I assist you today? Hi, uh, how fast can a T-Rex run? The Tyrannosaurus Rex is known for its impressive speed and agility. According to paleontologists and studies, a T-Rex could run at speeds of around Adignemane's 25 miles per hour, 20 and IE's 40 kilometers per hour. However, some estimates suggest it could reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour for short bursts making it one of the fastest large land predators of its time. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so you can see this is live on production on Cloudflare. This is the URL. Yeah, this is very basic and it's not using any voice agent servers. This is completely serverless. Let's check out how it how it works. If we go to the repo, I'll share this. What's going on here is that we have, we're deploying Next.js on a Cloudflare worker. And then we're also deploying the agent also on a durable object. Now, what's a durable object? It's very unique to Cloudflare. Durable objects allow you to instantly spin up a near infinite number of mini servers across the world with built in durable storage that can hibernate between requests. Now, durable objects are notoriously tricky to understand. They're unique and it'll take a while to fully grasp it. I'm still coming to terms with durable objects. They allow us to create these stateful web connections, WebSocket connections, and they're serverless and basically free. So what we do is we first spin up the durable objects worker, and then we spin up our, our Next.js app, and we can look into uh, into the code there. So here's the durable objects worker, and then here's the Next.js app inside here. 
inside the source app directory. So let's first look at the worker and then you look at the Wrangler JSON uh, C file and this is kind of like the Cloudflare config configuration for it. So what we do is here's our durable object. We just call it you know, my durable object, give it a class name. And then we also bind it with Cloudflare Workers AI has access to models and, and they're bound. Uh, and then if we go to outside in the root directory and go to the wrangler.json file for the Next.js app, we could see that we bind the also the durable object with the worker. So this script name is this worker directory right here. So let's look at the durable object file. We're bringing in the AI SDK, which is a nice handy uh, tool, which is actually from uh, made by Vercel, which is funny. And then the workers AI to access some AI models directly through Cloudflare. So we create our durable object class here. This is the fetch request to enable the WebSocket. And so what we do is we establish a connection and then we load our speech to text model here. You can see we're using OpenAI's Whisper Tiny. So it's a very cheap, very, very okay speech to text model. And then we process the text. We pass it into to the stream text from the AI SDK. And here we're using the open source Meta Llama 3 LLM. So we're passing the speech to text result into the LLM. And we this is our, you know, this is our basic prompt here. We're just saying, yeah, you're a helpful assistant. Okay, cool. The message history, max tokens, things like that. We take that result and we chunk it and parse it and put it through this text to speech model. Again, a very cheap, very okay, you just heard it text a speech voice model and we send the result to our Next.js front end. Now you can imagine that demo that I showed you that that demo is not going to blow anybody away by any means at all. But if you start giving it better models, better capabilities, like imagine throwing a an 11 labs voice on there and say a more powerful LLM like GPT 4.0, then you'll have a much better model much more intelligent, much more realistic sounding. Okay, so this worker is basically our back end handling the web sockets. Now let's jump into our Next.js front end. Source app is our Next.js front end. And it's basic Next.js. You got the page layout, components, lib, all of that. And this is using the open next adapter, right? This lets you deploy your Next.js to Cloudflare. It kind of handles all that transformation to make it easy. And if we go into our Cloudflare console, in our workers, and then in our Next.js Cloudflare voice AI worker, the demo I showed you, you can see here's our Next.js Cloudflare front end, and it's bound to the durable object here that we created that handles the web sockets. All right, so yeah, you can imagine all of the solo dev projects, this setup and pricing unlocks for voice AI, you know, no longer held back by big server costs. Great for small projects, solo projects. This was my first dip into the Cloudflare ecosystem. I'm still learning the ins and outs. There is so much more for me to explore. So look forward to optimizations and more voice AI info. I'll share this repo. And if you have any questions about this video, or this repo or voice voice AI in general, go ahead and leave a comment or join my Discord and you can join a group of other AI builders and chat it up there. All right, cool. See you.